In this demonstration, you'll learn the basics for setting up an overset meshing case in Fluent. Overset meshing allows you to build up the computational domain out of overlapping meshes. This example focuses on a multi-element rear wing similar to those that you would see on a Formula One car, albeit in a simplified form. Note that I'm running in double precision, which is recommended for all overset meshing cases. I have loaded a uniform background mesh and appended three component meshes, one for each wing element. This is the background, component 1, component 2, and component 3. And here they are overlaid. You'll see it's quite busy because of all of the overlapping meshes. In order to more accurately capture the wake zone at the end of the wing, I'm going to append an additional refinement mesh using the same method I used to append the other component meshes. With all of the components appended, I need to change the component boundary zones to the overset boundary type, which I've already done for the other components besides the wake refinement. The overset boundary type tells Fluent the region where I want to couple the meshes. After specifying all of the component boundary zones as overset, I can create the overset interface. I'll select the background mesh and all of the components because they're all participating in the calculations. Now I'm going to initialize, which establishes domain connectivity. Note that if I had not manually created the overset interface, Fluent would have created a default overset interface, including all of the cell zones. That would have been okay for this application, but in many cases, manually creating the overset interface or interfaces could increase the solver performance by only including the relevant background and component meshes. I'm enabling overset to only display the cells where the solution will be obtained. Here's what the domain looks like after the domain connectivity is established. By default, cell matching priority is based on cell volume, so you can see here that the interface doesn't follow where the overset boundary lies because it follows where the cell sizes are similar. If you're using unstructured meshes like I am here and they have irregular resolutions, then the default of donor priority based on cell size can lead to non-smooth interfaces. Note that a smooth interface does not directly correlate to solution quality. If I zoom in further, here's the intersection of the cells between the wing elements, and you'll note that it's not in the middle of the boundaries. Using text commands, I can change the donor priority method to boundary distance based from cell volume based. Now I'll reinitialize to reestablish domain connectivity using the new method. Redisplaying the domain, you can see that the boundary distance based method move the interface to be equidistant between the wing elements. And, zooming out, you can see that the interface is smoother than before. However, the trade-off is that the transition no longer occurs where the cell sizes are similar. You'll also notice that my refinement mesh is gone. This is because the refinement zone doesn't have any boundaries that factor into the boundary distance evaluation. To resolve this issue, I'm going to assign a higher grid priority to the refinement zone. Grid priorities have a higher rank than cell donor priorities, and override local cell priorities if they are used. Reinitializing, you can see that assigning a higher grid priority to the refinement zone allows me to retain this additional accuracy while using the boundary distance donor priority method, which produces smoother interfaces for this case and keeps the interfaces equidistant between the wing elements. Now that I've created the overset interface and initialized, establishing domain connectivity, there are no further steps required to make overset meshing work. I'll skip the remaining setup and solution steps so that I can show you some post-processing of the results for this case. Note that I used an inlet velocity of 50 meters per second. Here's a display of the velocity contours on the left and pressure contours on the right. You can see that the pressure is higher on the top side of the wing, which is expected for a wing designed to create downforce. This concludes this demonstration of overset meshing and fluent.